Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kai's Rikes Union of Britain. Let's continue on for the last time off. So, we have landed in Africa. We have eight days of fuel left. So, these guys here, you definitely need to dock. Um, eight days of fuel. We need that more or less to defend Britain itself. If anything, we can probably like get one of you to dock for now. Like, what's using up all of our fuel? Mostly the Navy. Uh, unsurprising, of course. But we're doing some good work. We're sinking a lot of enemy ships. Uh, we did lose some guys here, but we did kill more than we lost. So I think that's, you know, we consider that a victory. How much, how close have we already gotten the capitulation? We've gotten them down to 80%. It would be really nice if um, the one rebellion that can happen in the French Republic fired. I just don't know when that happens. And I don't know if... Our allies actually done it or not. You guys, hopefully you can take this port. That actually be really good for you. We can probably actually capitulate Sardinia with that. Eight day, 18 days of fuel. Do we have any planes flying over here? You guys, for now, just hold. Don't fly right now. I don't think it's important. Like, we need the fuel for other things. At the moment, our reinforcements are slowly coming in here. How many men do you have? 22 to 40 divisions. Like, I'm thinking of even pulling troops from... From the German front down here. Uh, delete this in plan. Delete that uh, line there. Your guys' job basically is you're going to push your way to here. We'll get two times bonus for the nuclear uh, weapons. It's still May, so I don't think you're able to do... What's the Indies Federation? Are we not at war with you? No, you're West, technically a puppet of state of Venezuela. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something, I guess. I like how it still has the British flag, even though it really makes no sense now under this context. You're coming to attack me. Shouldn't work out for you, I would imagine. Let's go back up to speed 5 for now. Yeah, we can definitely get you killed. Immediately attack in this direction. You push here. Thank you. So we got us around. Go to Sfax. Yeah, now I feel like we've actually already done some pretty good work. If anything, we probably don't need this many planes over the English Channel. If anything, you can definitely hold. I don't think we need you flying at all. Lost a convoy. Hopefully, you know, you know, it's mostly victories. And that's good. Ireland is still something that we do want to take. You guys go down to here. Get another victory point. Uh, you can come over here. If anything, green? I think you can kind of just go. Miss your way to Constantine. We have some reinforcements coming in. The Russians are coming to help us. Thank you very much. What if I just, like, drove a truck here? Driving a truck seems to work a lot of the time. Hopefully we don't lose a truck. That would suck. Or we I think we're very close to actually taking out over one of the major Entente powers right now. So, if we can get that accomplished... In fact, I want you to drive around and try... Yeah, I was going to say try to... Get an encirclement, but that's okay if it doesn't necessarily work out. Uh, you guys, you can deploy the brown army. It's a little bit, probably a little bit worrying to send troops across the channel right now, but it could always be worse. I don't think these provinces connect, uh, unfortunately. 
I don't need you all the way here. You last stand because I don't want you to lose that position. Keep on marching through. And we're running out of oil again. Is there a boat we do not need? Um, you hold position. Got some combat going on. A bunch of submarines. Hopefully we sank something. I mean, it could be a lot worse. How many men have we killed? 71,219. Looking pretty solid, I would say. I'm going to cut this area in half. So I can at least maybe fix the AI a little bit. I know you're driving through a desert, which is really not probably like the best terrain to drive in. Nobody's on this front. Try to do this. If the French AI wants to uh, claim this territory for themselves, they can. I'm not going to stop them. I just don't think it's very important. But why do you guys not want to come to this front? You know, make your way up here then. If you don't want to make your way to the front, I will force you there. From our fineries, 1.1. So we're getting 3.1k. We're spending a lot more than that. Who can I get oil from that safe? Venezuela, you know what? Six factories of oil, please. I need all the gasoline I can get my hands on. Oh, Bolivia Paraguays are dead? Well, we'll pass a bunch. I'm going to give it to definitely to Chile, obviously. Uh, take all states and turn. Pass, 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 pass. Chile, you can also take Paraguay. There you go. Have fun with that. Okay, green, I think you can kind of stand for now. You know, you take this territory just because uh, I think the French AI might be a little bit freaked out by it. Go for a little bit more artillery. Modify our ships. Let's get better capital ships. Even though I'm not researching any more at the moment. That's okay. And this, I think, is a pretty solid first start for the war. France, do not demand Alsace Lorraine right now. I feel like we have more important things to worry about. Naval we'll combat down here. That's okay. How did you guys do here? You have pushed your way through. I mean, I could send Brown Army down to uh, help you out. Because if you could push this island, that will get rid of a decent amount of... Um, I think you should get rid of basically all the planes and hopefully most of the naval stuff. But I'm surprising this is going to become a major front line in the war. Let's try to think of, like, who else... I just want that rebellion to break out. It'll distract the AI hopefully long enough. For us to get some good stuff done. Like, we only have 16 divisions down here. I know we're definitely fighting more than that. Eighty-six thousand dead to two hundred sixty-seven thousand. French Republic's already halfway capitulated. They haven't even lost Algiers yet. Do something like this. Like if we can actually even get our trucks to drive over here, split it in half this way. It's only have thirteen days of fuel. Okay, we'll 
hold you for now. Slowly res uh, refilling our oil reserves. I mean, Germany is getting beefy. There is no doubting that. But, you know, France is... Putting a lot of men down here. Like, do I send over a reserve army? How many men are you? You're eight divisions. You're coming down here for now. We're not at war, Germany. At least not right. Uh, at least not right now. Uh, so I think we can safely ignore them for the time being. Brazil's joined the Reich's Pact. That doesn't matter until we're at war with you. That's going to be another very big front line. How many men do you have? 15 to 38. Hmm. About even down in the south. Also, what the hell is this? How did you land a port, though? Panzerklare are one of the Dutch's indies. They're not in a faction, but usually they'll, they'll join a faction. So I'm curious, if they join the Entente, having Japan at war with the Entente as well is definitely going to be a nice boon for us. Keep these guys here for now. France, you're actually doing a fantastic job in uh, Portugal. More than I actually ever would have thought you would, to be completely honest. Okay, put you here. Like, I would like to do another invasion of Ireland, but I think right now it's just it's too risky. I'm just thinking a handful of... Uh, I'm fine losing planes for... Um, convoys. It's just either troop convoys. Please stop attacking me. Thank you very much. Send our infantry division up to the north. It's in Russian infantry is just standing still. That is absolutely a okay. Put another into artillery. We lose seven ships. Well, we did. Si ah, we, okay, that's not really a victory, I would say. But the opus could have worn Etria. A lot of those things don't really matter. You hold position because I don't need multiple combats right now. You're at 8, 48. Push your way through, I think, now. The Brown Army has arrived. If something like this could work. I'm going to have you pull back for now. You've managed to push your way through. That means you guys should be in multiple combats. Giving us a nice edge. Yellow, you feel confident with a naval invasion of Belfast? Screw it, dude. If you think you can do it with one division... Oh, you're going to land here, huh? Okay, well, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, do not do that, actually. France, if you can actually capitulate Portugal... I mean, I don't know how powerful they are. 9 to 21 divisions. A decent amount of boats. Like, I'm not going to say no to that. If you can do it, I would be uh, over the moon. Again, as long as you're not preparing to declare war on the Germans. Because that is a big no-no in my books. Uh, what do we want to research? Let us research. It's July. You're about a year ahead of time. It's a little bit much. Get some improved infantry equipment. Let's go. You're actually holding on like pretty well, I would say. How's the front over here? Very, very close to actually winning. On that side. Chile, I'm hoping you keep your troops down in... Um, like, by Brazil. Liberia's going to ruin the French Republic. Okay. A bit strange, but sure. If it creates another front line for the AI I'd have to deal with, I am all for it. You 
something like this. You're not doing anything. So I'm going to try to take this city. But I want... If we can capitulate... The French Republic... This quickly, that would be lovely. I know Liberia could join the Reich's Pact. I've seen them do it before in the past. I don't know what the likeliness of them doing that now is. But I'm hoping that they can keep up the trend. Because that would be wonderful for us. That you're still pretty secure at the moment. Okay, fortify the German border. Love to see it. Because that means you're not doing something that I would hate. Iran's worth 15. You're at 57%. Uh, you're 1941 tech. Eh, a little bit over a year to research. Isn't that bad? But you know what? Marines too? Probably is going to prove to be important. You guys push your way over here. Union Brit's looking pretty good. Liberia, how are you doing? You're taking over some territory? Love it. You have two divisions. Would have maybe liked to see a bit more of an effort on your part, but that's okay. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Second Melbourne Uprising. Will that turn you syndicalist? God, I hope so. And France? Doing a lovely job. Iceland, which expanded British waters. Um, have to form a deal. Let's form a deal, Iceland. I don't know if having Iceland in my faction will really accomplish anything at all. But it theoretically could. If we can take that theoretical chance, I will definitely do so. Push your way here. That should definitely cut you guys in half. Just winning on any front would be great. Morocco, how many men do you have? Because like, you're part of the Reich's Pack. Seven and nine divisions. So we're going to need to keep uh, some troops down here because we will need to kill Morocco as well. Okay, so You've, I'm guessing, already got what you wanted. Yes, you got a pretty decent chunk of territory, though. So good on you, Liberia. Distracting the AI for any amount of time makes you my personal hero. You're going to go to Iran. If something like this. Are we low on any equipment? The answer is not really. We could use some more strategic bombers. Uh, which I'm not against. You know, build more tactical bombers instead. At least for right now. Got a pre militarized front line here. Russia hasn't been doing much. But I'd still like to take over Ireland as well. Guys, go upwards. I can already see that you're trying to leave Algiers. Hawaii's capitulated to who? I forgot Hawaii was even in our faction. Um, to Australia. Okay. That is fine. And these guys probably don't have, like, a huge amount of supplies at the moment, I would imagine. It's very, very cloudy, though. I legitimately cannot tell what the hell's happening. Beijing's fallen. To who? Oh, the Fetians. Okay. That's understandable. I just enjoyed the third international. Oh, thank you. Um, You're probably going to capitulate, like, right away. You have literally nothing except for two civilian factories, but... I appreciate... Uh, the, the support. Well recognized Hawaiian government. Fortress Britain? 
not a bad idea. Ten percent more support stability. Because we're technically in a, in a defensive war. Thirty percent more support there. But we do need all of them to get these other bonuses. So let's go for Fortress Britain first. You should be able to hold on to this front, I believe. And Portugal probably is going to capitulate soon. We've taken Algiers. I got them down to 31%. Yeah, and a lot of French Republic troops are actually stuck in the desert. So hopefully they will just kind of wither away and die. Not to sound too harsh, but that is exactly what I'm hoping for here. Do something like this. Prepare for another naval invasion of uh, Ireland. At some point, I think something's gotta, something's gotta work. Move your way towards Iran. Lost 100,000 men. It's still a lot, but considering the fact that we've been on the offensive this entire time, it's really not too bad. Okay, cool. Well, it's a little bit of a bad engagement there, I will admit. Pull you guys down for now. Things are looking pretty, pretty good. When will you be ready for naval invasion? 35 days? Okay. You have about 100,000 manpower left, which I'm actually surprised by. That's actually way more than I would have expected. Guys, just go all here. And you guys really can't have that much in terms of supplies, right? I know we probably need to get our way down to the car. Here. We're very, very close to Iran. And do we push down this little corridor? The answer is maybe. France still not attacking the Germans. Which again is what we want to see. Please stop attacking me so I can go to your uh, city here. I don't think it's going to be capitulation, unfortunately. Because you're worth 15. You're worth 10. So, American Union State has capitulated. The French Republic has capitulated. Oh! Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, French Republic, bunch of materials. And I think with that, this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So, thanks everybody for watching my anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Nigel, you can always thumbs down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye. <laughs>